To become an elite runner takes a mixture of a lot of things. Talent, dedication, tactics, and the right training, just to name a few. The gap between a professional runner and the best runners in history actually is a tiny margin. For example, the fastest 1500m time ever is Hicham El Garouge's 326, and you rarely see an athlete who's run slower than 337 sign a professional contract. That means there's around an 11 second gap between the best ever and the lowest level professionals. In the scheme of things, that's not a big margin. The best way to achieve marginal gains in order to succeed at a professional level is optimizing the controllables, things like training and recovery. And when you talk about training as a distance runner, it's the trend these days to instantly think of threshold training. And whenever someone mentions threshold training, there's one name that always seems to closely follow, Jakob Ingebrigtsen. If you've been living under a rock in the professional running world in recent years, here's some clarification. Threshold training is training at an effort just before blood lactate begins to rapidly rise. In simple terms, the fastest pace you can run at a sustained effort without fatigue starting to progress rapidly. A general rule of thumb is a pace that you can run for an hour. But as mentioned, most of you probably know about Jakob's threshold training by now. If you don't, don't worry. We've done an in-depth video of it on our own channel just here. Briefly, it consists of two double threshold days a week with an X element once a week, usually at a more race pace specific effort. In base phase, traditionally, that is 200 meter hill reps. So an example training week of his would look something like this. This video is about one specific session Jakob did recently just before he shattered the two mile world record with a time of 7.54. And compared to his usual high volume workouts, this seems quite tame at first glance. It was six times 800 meters, and according to Jakob, was only a medium hard session. Here's the breakdown. Six times 800 meters with the rest undisclosed. The first two 800 meter reps were in two minutes flat which equates to 401-402 mile pace. Jakob said that after these reps, his lactate levels were similar to threshold, so extremely low, which is scary enough in itself. The following two reps were both in 155. That's around 351-352 mile pace. Now, if the workout carried on at this pace, it would still be near impossible for mere mortals to achieve. The final two 800 meter reps had a longer recovery between them, but Jakob ran 149.5 for both of the reps. That is quicker than the 1500m world record pace, made even more impressive by the fact that Jakob's 800m personal best is 146. If you'd like to try this workout for yourself, do 6 times 800 meters with the first two intervals at 5000m pace, the second two intervals at a slightly quicker than 3000m pace, and the final two intervals slightly quicker than 1500m pace, and see how you find it.